Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, and yes, we are back at our dear friend Spidey here. I have actually thought a name of they thought of a name for it. I've been thinking about it, and I think we're gonna call it Charlotte. Call her Charlotte. And if anybody can figure out that one, let me know in the comments below, and maybe uh, maybe I'll take on a, a request. But anyways, I've done some work here. I uh, did a lot of things. Tried to give it more power, make it lighter. As you can see, I got rid of the generators, and I've changed the stops here for the the arms to be in all the batteries. And yes, this is as many batteries as I needed for this thing. Uh, one of the things I had to do to give it more power for the walking is I've put another hover pad on here, and that's why I had to move this up one row. This actually used to be down here, but now it's up here for this to have room. And it was a little tricky getting those in, but it, it does work. There's the hover jack way over there. You can actually see where I originally built the thing. I'm sliding on it, too. But, uh, yeah, and then uh, one of the things I've did, done, too, looking into hover mode here is I've adjusted the stops. I brought this stop down a bit, so in that way the leg gets more downward push. Um, with the generators being gone and now on batteries, it is actually be able to lift under its own weight. So what I'm going to do is I want to take this thing for a stroll. I want to see how well it does. It's not going to be a fast pace. I admit that I'll tell you that right now. But I want to head over that way and see how well it does on the hills. So originally I originally was thinking of trying to make it up to the gyro, but geez, it's going to take me all day to get over there. I figure it'd be a little closer to head over there. Or I may go to the gyro. I haven't quite figured it out yet. I did have to plant a couple of these legs because they were, they, were, they were twitching. But it is good. It is good. I'll grab the other side here. I was actually surprised. Sometimes it it does need a little bit more of a push. Like I really should have one more hover pad down here, but that's not doable without redesigning the whole thing. So all all the legs are free. Okay. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Hang on, I'm gonna reload this and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to unplant the right thing. Okay, I got the right one, and I even put a couple of weights on here as eyes. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this on. And there we have it. So now all I have to do is use space and control to adjust how tall it stands. Use forward and back to walk. And uh, left and right to actually steer. Uh, one thing I'll show you is once I get into the cockpit here. I've also put a second cockpit up higher so we can actually see it a little bit better. If you want a first person view you can go to this one. Then you can get down here and actually watch the legs walk around. Just for when it goes up to the workshop, when we get it eventually. But let's head up here. So, as you can see, space and control lifts its height. And then I don't know if you can actually see it, but if I tap left and right, you can see those hover pads in the middle. Or the air blades. And those are actually what steer it. So, let's go up. A little too high. Let's see if we can actually get this thing moving. See, it's a little slow, but it does move. And actually, I'm surprised, considering how heavy this thing must weigh. Each one of those batteries is 40. The hover pads are, what, 200 or 300 or something. Sometimes it needs a little more. It's almost like the legs are dragging on the ground. Sometimes you gotta hold it. It does eventually go. Definitely needs more power. And then turning the same way. Just turn while I'm walking. Might have to try to see if I could tweak it a little bit, but it does go. I admit I'm putting a lot of force on those on those rotors. But it works. So I'm going to do a cut here and then uh, do a little bit of a time lapse of me attempting to walk this thing. Mind you, it has gone away. So, so yeah, I'll, let's see where we can take this thing. <laughs>
Okay, my hands, start, my fingers are starting to crap up. That's getting hard. I don't know if you start noticed. I had to start sort of swaying side to side because uh, what's going on is these rotors are. Let me get out of build vision here. Those rotors here, they're sticky. Sometimes the uh, arms aren't going up and they're not moving and stuff. So I'm sort of shifting the weight, trying to get free. And now that I can see that, I'm actually on quite an incline, which is why I was having issues. I really should be turning and trying to keep the ground parallel. But how far did we go? Huh? Went away, so that's for sure. Definitely needs a little bit more power. Uh, as you saw, I made a few modifications, a few more blocks at the top there on the hover pads, so they have something to grab onto. And I tried to put an extra weight here as a counterweight. And maybe what I'll do, let's, let's actually try a little bit more, see if I can get up that hill, see if I can turn myself, but I'm surprised it's actually moving. <laughs> to be quite honest, I am. Let's see, if I put another block here, that'll add a little bit more weight on this end, and make it a little easier for the hover pads to fill it in. So, let me, let me get this all sort of weighted up a little bit now. We'll do a little bit more walking. Okay, so there is a slight drawback to this. Uh, obviously, this is just uh, the first version of it, but I'm surprised we are actually going up the mountain. Uh, if you're wondering if I was actually moving with the air blades, I am not. These are set to steering only, and they will help me steer. I use them to keep the weight up. I do realize now it's a little excessive. I could probably take a few air blades off to to make it impossible to fly. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick save now and then we'll actually see if it can fly. Alright, let's try it. Because I noticed the legs were lifting up off the ground, but it doesn't matter if I can actually, if I can't fly it, I can't actually steer it because I don't have it set up. Well, I can't control it because I don't have it set up. But, let's see. Oh, it does fly. But that's not the point. It was the fact that the legs were actually moving across the ground because I can't actually control. But there we have it. We have the first spider prototype which bounces like a balloon. But that's besides the point. Uh, I will definitely have to think about what I'm going to do about these legs. Uh, for one, they don't have any traction. I think possibly having a suspension on the end or even a tire might help get a little bit more grip on the ground. And yeah, uh, we'll go from there. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed walking this thing around, even though it was slow. I spent 45 minutes going from point A to here. 
It's a weird lighting glitch on the left side there. But yeah, it successful. Anyways, I uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you next time in the lab. Later.